there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. It looks like we are going to wind our way down to reach the The World of Final Fantasy. In the opening a couple of chapters, this is chapter two at the moment. Oh, uh, we're going to do a continuous playthrough, so but the hey, um, Why don't we ask the pace is glacial really at this point. I think I've already been in like what four or five fights, and it feels like the plot's not really developing too fast. We'll see if it picks up. If it doesn't pick up, then I'm going to have to start truncating and doing a kind of a compilation uh, videos rather than actually just do? breaking this down oh, step say, by step as I went through. But we'll see how it goes. From the hills, by any chance, would you? You see, there's a situation I'm dealing with where I could really use your assistance, since you must know Mirage so well. Yeah, we can't have an intrinsic understanding of them. Bring me an earth hammer. If you could, I would be forever in your debt. Earth hammer? Yeah, sure. <coughs> Thank you again for doing. Sure, not a problem at all, buddy. So at least we have a star to tell us where we need to be going. Look at all the little people. Wait, is that this thing? Another door? Oh, I was hoping the path might link me up here. Hey, Tama! Wh what up? the hell? So I'm assuming this is taking us to little side places or side missions? Huh? Hmm? We're right. back in Ninewood Hills? So all these you paths take us back to Ninewood Hills? doesn't connect to just one the area. All throughout Grimoire, you'll find places. Save the locations that lead back here. Open the way to come and to go as you please. And how exactly do we do that? You already have the song. Just walk up to the right place, and that's all it takes. All right, cool. But so we, lock, we don't have to go through them to unlock them. That handy must come with a catch. <clears throat> no, the catch. You can use the gate as the little or much as you like. What's more, time in here and time in Grimoire. They don't both the flow at the same speed. So whatever crisis is going to down, you can put it on hold and kick back here till you're ready. That is awesome. <laughs> I want everything it's in like life magic. to have one of these doors. Yeah, really irresponsible magic. <laughs> yes, Just imagine exactly. revisiting any place we've been. We'll call it the Super Porta Party. Are you the kidding? That name definitely gets an F. He deserves an it H. It definitely does get an F. An H? But grades only go down to F. Extra, extra. Read all about it. <gasps> what do you the one here, Seraphy? In case you're wondering, you can use the prism case anywhere you find one of these gates. You can use oh, it because I need to I be able to find my victim. Gates are the what you meant when you talked about anywhere. a strong connection. Huh? Oh, right, right. That's the gist of it. Psycho killer! Qu'est-ce que c'est? So, gates. You will find shining gates like the one you see here approaching a gate will connect to the main gate in Ninewood Hills. Once it's linked up, you can use the gate to travel anywhere you've already been. Exit gates are special one-way doors for leaving dungeons, so they're not accessible from the... Alright, so therefore, getting out of dungeons. Okay. Venture log. Uh, if you haven't dropped by Grimoire in a while, it's a good way to catch up. Alright. Chronicle Adventures is recorded in the game menus adventure log, so we can always check the menu log to find out where I left off if I do leave the location that I was meant to be in. Many ventures to have a peek at quests. I'm not sure you can stop to buy to check your progress, but you can also collect quest rewards. Oh, so you just do it in the menu rather than going back to places. Nice. You don't even have to go and find people afterwards. That makes so much of the running around okay, easy. To the Nether Nebula. Yes, yeah, so let's continue to the Nether Nebula. Nether Nebula. Nether Nebula. Quay? Always Quay? Oh, is that... No, no, let... I want to... Is Chocobo sitting there nursing an egg? I want to actually kind of run up to the egg. I'm actually kind of upset that I couldn't go over and get a closer look because it wouldn't let me zoom in or anything. That's, that's mildly disappointing. If you get poisoned in battle, the toxins will gradually drain your HP. Make sure you deal with poison early by using an antidote. That's Here, really useful. This one's for you. Oh, thanks, dude. That was really nice of you. Um, but yeah, 
Did not expect the uh, random NPCs in the street to actually have uh, voice acting. Was, this is one of those things where I never think of. Because um, normally it's whenever it's the, the main storyline elements alone oh, are the ones that are voice acted. Sense. Didn't even think about it. Pressing while in the dungeon displays a map of your surroundings. Not only does the map help you get your bearings, it also lists your destination, the location of gates, and save crystals. Well, that's useful. She said the Nether Nebula is somewhere northeast of Cornelia, right? Okay, okay. Go hustle and rustle a little mirage muscle. Just don't hustle so much that you get yourself lost, okay? <laughs> I might just leave you there. Potions! <laughs> Damn useful. <laughs> When's the last time I got. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. That was the last time I got us kid. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm already losing my memory. Okay, so there's a kid anyway. The mirages in here are a lot the stronger than any you faced the before. Yeah, let's not mess around in the never never thing on Nabob. Nether Nebula. Do you think you can do something about that habit of forgetting the name of virtually everything? Nope. Oh, here's another gate. That's the right. Gates that usually turn up in towns or at the start of most mirage infested areas. You never have to travel far to the visit a place you've been. Aww. Whenever you want to get from point the A to point the B, just use the gate as a handy little shortcut. Yep, look forward to it. Shortcut, huh? <clears throat> so, like, if we wanted to go back to Cornelia right this instant, what this gate and then go back in the one you get back to the back to woods. Manwood Hills, then we hills. can take the gate woods, from there to Cornelia. Close enough. I've already forgotten the words of things. All in all, it makes for a pretty short shortcut. Yeah, if it were hair, you'd have to call it. You'd have to call it a buzz cut. Stop, okay. God, man! <laughs> you're you're bad at naming things. Ooh, you're a jewel. Oh, so it's magic that you can actually give to the kids instead. Nice. Alright, so you want to use eight at the beginning. So this is kind of like our um, equipable spells for the main characters, rather than actually using the boxes to go, or using this this grid to go through. This is pretty cool. Um, let's see, mirror jewels. So I know that Tama has Libra, so Rin, I'm going to give her the Libra one, so that she can do that spell. Works for me. So that means both characters now have a Libra spell. Man, I love a good adventure. <laughs> I love the fact that I managed to trap him and then tell him to teleport rabbit him up. Hole as far as it goes. Yeah, fine. Just be. Uh oh. Right, let's go. First match in the yeah, cave. We got. Oh. I guess we're doing this. Parasect. Parasect. So yeah. Gonna use this. Gonna use this. Use that. Golem. Oh, we are so taking one of those many golems. Fizzle attacks. Works for me. Was well, he strong against? Oh, he's weak against wind? I think that is. He's strong against fire. Well, earth. Okay. Well, that makes sense because he's made of stone. Cool. Let's rock and roll. So, physical attacks. He doesn't seem to be weak against fire, so let's try fire element and our punch. Yeah. Boom! There we go. Yeah. Ow! Okay, so imprison. Yep. Boom! He's weakened down. He got no chance, baby. Gotcha. And boom. That all you got? Come on.
No trouble at all. Then down he goes. Fluffy butt, you leveled up. So it seems as you don't get that much money. These are pretty simple catches. Still a set of arms and legs to a head. <laughs> Likes charging his enemies while singing Go Go Golem Body Slam. But seriously, who doesn't? Go Go Golem Body Slam! Yeah, Inspector Gadget references in a Final Fantasy make me feel weird. Um, yes, his name is Geodude. <laughs> Oh, do dude. You look perfect. It even looks like you kind of have a mustache on your face. I don't know why. He's a gentleman, Geo dude. He's a gentle dude. Yep. He's gentle dude. That's what he's getting. Geo gentle dude. Gentle Geo dude. I am very threatening. I'm sure he yeah, is whenever fine. you level him up. Just behave yourself. <laughs> so, um... Did I, wait, did I have more than one mirror jewel? Oh, it's because of him only happened. There we go. Um, so it's a bit confusing whenever it shows multiple things in there. So, on her... Well, we're going large because we don't have anything else. Um, yeah. Hmm. Let's see what the stats do for each character. But he increases strength quite highly. Magic defense and stuff, not brilliant, but that still works pretty well for me. And he's got Tama. Happy days. And mini version will have... Uh, fluffy butt! Actually, we're going to be doing a lot of physical attacks, so might as well put him on her for both of them. And we continue our adventure. Great adventure awaits. The one thing I'm missing from this is the fact that we don't really have a, you know, um... I'm going to try and think of the word for it, but uh, we don't have like a proper kind of like massive like battle theme that kind of gets you hyped. I'm willing to bet they'll probably come in the um, boss battles. Though. That's that's what that's what it always feels like. It feels like the boss battles tend to be the one where you're going like, yeah, this is whenever we get into it. Physical attacks, creative prison. All right, so physical attacks it is. Ah! Boom. There's opportunity. Bam! Doot, 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 doot. Click! You captured a Pokemon! Bam, 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 bam. You just added so a new bad. one to your Pokedex! Oh yeah! I'm liking it. Mandragoras live all over the world. These little guys may look cute, but don't touch. They're poisonous. While no one's ever sighted one in the process of growing, you can never be too safe. So if you see two floppy leaves sticking up, be smart and don't yank them. Also, in most other cases where the Mandragora exists, it also screams and kills you because it's a baby scream. You ever seen uh, Harry Potter? That's what those things are. Okay. The abilities? Mandragora, Leaf Dagger, Sleep Leaves. Ooh, Poison Touch Stroll, yeah. That's actually going to be pretty useful. Um, yeah, happy days. What are we calling them? Um, poison Baby. Poison Baby. You're Poison Baby. Baby, baby. Don't poison me. Oh, look at the little flappy arms in them. So we're getting on our quest. 
to the deepest corners of the cave. This dungeon is way more dungeony than I thought. Did you know that originally dungeon referred to the biggest tower in a castle? It's no. What they called the castle keep. How long has it been since I've heard Rain go off on one of her educational rants? She must be pretty upset. Then so why is that? The more upset she gets, the more she tries to cup. Tries to cover it with like random facts. I right, like this chick. This. That's why I deal like problems. Yeah, we don't get any more prisms for these guys, so let's just set them all on fire. Not done yet. Nice knowing ya. You're done. Oh, Earth Touch. That makes sense. Ow. Oh, fire. This is it. Down you go. Boom, done and dusted. So I'm kind of getting right. used to the um, speed of the fights. Um, combat in this doesn't seem to be that difficult at all. Really not in the opening of the story anyway. <laughs> I think uh, putting a difficulty level in this might have actually been a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm sure, actually, that there's must be a new game plus or something to go after this after or a lot of post play because this kind Sis, of like on ramping is super slow. Sis, I think we're good. Gimme, gimme. Fine, then you can have the six stone we just found. Asshole! I want that for myself. Damn, you suck! Wait. Oh yeah, this is where we're going. Yeah, I'm sure I forgot an item up there. I've, I might backtrack and go back around. Dude, it's on. Let's make this good. Whoa. Okay. Um, let's be smart about this. So, huh? Huh? Not done yet. Nope, wrong one. God damn it, should have thought about that beforehand. Oh, that was pretty strong. Um, yeah. I mean, we've seen those bigger ones, I think they must be the medium sized versions of that same golem. So they'd be physical attacks. Um, what these do I have? Oh, that's copper? A copper gnome? Okay. Well, let's see if we hit see that. See how you like this. Here goes. Ah! Okay, that didn't work. Ow. Oh shit! Oh, don't like poison. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. Holy crap! These guys are actually going to kick my ass. Um. Right. So I'm gonna need to do this channel element fire. I'm gonna do it on the Mandragora to get him out of the way. Watch this. Goodbye. And uh, I think I need to use items, really, don't I? I really hit the fact that I have to try to take them out. Hopefully I can take them out before I actually run out of health. No, I can't actually. Probably will just drip away. Because huh? they do what, about 40 if they actually hit the one person the entire time? Ooh. Cheek of them. So, yeah. We're going to go with Libra. This is it! Reduce the HP? Okay. So, um, yeah. Let's just attack. Oh, come on! That's really shitty to miss at such a low level. I mean, at least just do like half damage or so on. 
Wow. That is not good. Um, yep, we're gonna hit the copper gnome. Boom, okay, right, so we get a prism opportunity. The... Oh, knock him over. In prism! God damn it! Right, I think I'm just going to attack and kill that one because it's too much of a risk to have too many things attacking me. I can just I can use that opportunity to hit this other one. And I'll go for these other two. Don't miss! Oh, that's okay. He is without sin. Cast the first stone. Apparently, copper gnomes are without sin! I don't want to waste turns imprisoning these guys, but... Work! Yeah, there we go. We now have a copper gnome. And whenever he's alone, he's the last one. Bam, and then a prism. In prison. I knew that was, was going to... I don't know why, but in my head, I imagined the floating eye was going to be like, once you're alone, you're weak. Ah, oh, man. Whoa! Is that two attacks? There we go. Bam, done and dusted. And now we have some mediums. Finally. We did it. <laughs> this way, it's like a dwarf on the loose. They said there was a small medium. I told that joke badly, didn't I? What did they say about the Psychic Dwarf? There was a small medium on the loose. Well done, Derm. That's terrible. You actually ruined a bad joke. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm goddamn ashamed. But at least I got these. So, compose them almost entirely of copper. This metal with the metal takes place, takes pride in his tough hide. It is incredibly satisfying to face one of these and shout, Yeah, see? You'll never take me alive, copper. Nah, nah. If you got that reference, and congratulations, you're old. <laughs> Fuck you, game. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Oh, man. I walked right into that one, didn't I? Nah, nah, nah. Um... Oh, what do they call those guys from Wacky Races? Uh, <laughs> this guy's just gangster. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a name for him actually off the top of my head really quickly, but he's just gangster. Oh. A winged eyeball that slings magic. Pro tip for keeping yourself awake at night. Try to visualize its heart in the brain. Just splurging around in there. <laughs> it's just a ball. Bloop, 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 bloop. I was just trying to figure out where it is. There's a heart and a brain floating around inside the eyeball. Yeah. No pleasant thought. Uh, field. Evolution. Field Evo. <laughs> Field Evolution, that's what his name is. How do I live? Okay, then I get to throw those mediums in. Uh, stack set up. So you're going very physical with this guy, so I'm going to go with Gangsta on you. And since we're going magical with you, we're going... Magical. That looks kind of cool, actually. I like the fact that it said she gives Tama a mount to actually be riding on top of. So what we should probably take a look at now is the Mirage board to see if anything can be leveled up a wee bit. Um, Tama being the purposefully first one that we go with. Tama, have you leveled up? 
bugger, she needs four for cure, which I really want to get. <clears throat> I want to have cure as a skill, so I'm probably just going to wait until I have it. And probably take stroll along with it, probably. Oh, wait, Tama hasn't healed? You don't heal between fights? Oh, oh, that's going to make it interesting. Right. Okay. Hmm. No likey, no likey. Flutter. Ultimate focus. Fly, Rin, and Lan a short distance? Interesting. That's going to be damn useful though for sleep. But I only have 3 SP, so I can't do anything yet. Great. What about you, gangster? See, I thought he was going to be like the middle evolution of the mini golem, but he's actually not. I know how to throw stone. I can throw stone. Um, yep. You got probably leveled up in some way, shape, or form. Well, I just got the body slam. You got a slam, and welcome to the jam jam. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Well, that's it. Wait, wait, he has four, but he doesn't have anything he can grab? All right, he does. So I have four points left to spend. Um, Oh, it's a blank space. Well, in that case, if that's a blank space, I'm going to avoid blank spaces for the moment and wasted my time with them. So I can go backtrack and get them if I want to. Oh, at least then, HP's up. That's a good enough start. Pity it didn't actually let me recover my health while it was at it. Which is annoying. Um... Those. So stack one, stack two, and there we go. At least we're fully healed. Oh crap, right. I'm gonna go backtrack around and do a lap around here because um, I obviously missed a box that was sitting in the corner. Final Fantasy, the Dungeon Crawler. <laughs> it does feel like I'm since he gone to Mount Moon, though. Do you know what I mean? Um, oh, attack. Uh, yeah. Just normal attack, really. <coughs> Down she goes. Oh, that's supposed to be with three of them stacked. I'm doing a lot more damage. And down they go. Don't One hit kills. Level up. Three potions. So yeah, the random battles not happening too fast, yeah, but they are happening you got fairly this. often. I guess we're doing this. Nature of Final Fantasy games, gotta accept them. So knockdown one, knockdown two. Oh god damn it! Yeah, I'm definitely taking the accuracy plus as soon as that one goes up. Critical 300? Nice! Yeah! Oh yeah! And the quest continues for all of the numbers. 
hit the fire. I hit that whenever you get up to one EXP away from a goddamn level up. Hmm. Some Mirages like the Chocobo have their own music. Oh. What's this for? I assume you need to stand on it. It's a strange switch that the response to Mirages. The mirages you imprison the inside these caves should be able to help you out. Excellent. So puzzle switches like the ones you see here respond to mages that you stack on top of them. You need to use mirages when, with the right combined wit and elemental resistance to solve them. Right. That's pretty cool. So I like the idea of puzzles. And you get them from the ones that look nearby. Cool beans. Uh, wit 5 or greater, earth resistance 5 or greater. Easy. Oh, they have to be small ones? Okay. Ah, right, I gotcha. So, do they weigh eight, and they have earth resistance of 75? Yeah, activate. That works. I get ya, I understand. That was actually just to do a stack of two of them on top of each other. Oh, I'm getting that it's actually really simple to get. Okay. That's levitation, Holmes. How about the power to kill a yak? From 100 yards away. A new with path. mind bullets! Check out that switch crash. Telekinesis, Kyle. Yep. Now we know switch way to the go. No. Whichever one of you thinks uh. you're being clever is about to get a knuckle sand switch. <laughs> did, did I just get owned? I'm the raising the white flag here, too. Oh, come on. It's just the language is so unbelievably millennial. It's fucking hey, terrifying. Toma, weird question. It's making jokes about um, me being old, but the jokes are it's making her old before it even actually aged. Uh, 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 are you kidding me? Not question is. Mirages can stack too. Yeah, yep. of course. You're not the only ones who get way the stronger when you're piled up. Do their abilities change when they're stacked to them? Ooh. Afraid the so, which means somebody needs to stop underestimating the enemy before he finds himself up to his neck in some. Uh, okay. At least he knows the warnings meant for him. Yeah, I think I'm just going to attack. Throw stone time. Ah! Ah, oh. not enough to unstack him. Oh well, did they hit him harder? Ha! Ah. Got you beat and pummel you to the ground. How about you try this on for size? That all you got? You're mine. Ah. Boom! Whoa, that was a pretty good head. Suppose that she's got all the strength stats put on her, so his magic is the only thing that will kind of keep him even up at the moment. Okay, that's okay. Pretty good hits. All right. Especially whenever they only hit me for what, 18? Ah, Wobble Stopper. Useful to have. Which I assume, Dude, by its really? title, it stops yeah, you from throwing a wobbly kind of a and going crazy. Genius coming up with I think. all the answers on right? my own. I hate to the break it to you, but you will never the be that person. I know. It's so sad. Whoa, hey now, come on. You don't have to look that broken hearted when you say it. At least I'm gonna get my items. I should have thought about that before actually like running on ahead, because I feel like she made myself do a lap of this place for no apparent reason. Efficient dungeoneering? Not for me. I always gr I always grind the entire time I'm done here. Okay, mm uh, I'm just going to attack you. Come on! Please don't hit the wee small one. Yeah, that makes more sense. 
I was wondering there for a second if that was good. It hits from the back to the front. Hey! Screw you. <laughs> it's just the fact that whenever it goes really fast, I feel like I should be going really fast, as if I've like done a time lapse for actually like getting through these bits. I might do that for future episodes with any anytime it gets really grindy and there's not really anything to say in the gaps in between, I might actually do the whole <laughs> and run around and do it actually um either that or might just pretend I'm doing it. Just because I'm weird. Okay. Uh five or greater, seventy five or greater. Works for me. So we need you. And we need you and that's it. Oh done and dusted. Phoenix Dine, damn useful. Yeah. Best helm in the realm. Abilities. Oh no, not element earth. I'm gonna hit them. Boom, boom, shake the that room. Got? You're mine. Boom, 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 boom. Let me hear say, ew, ew. Yeah, we need to end you. Attack, drop her gnome, bye bye. Oh! Ah, stupid. I think the quick attack, the um. Single, the, the quick access buttons don't really feel that safe right. to me for an actual usage for combat. Because so I'll accidentally hit X to do action, and that's actually defend. I don't suppose it's a reasonably safe auto action to have. I mean, I could probably remap that easy enough. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. It just feels a little bit counterintuitive to go for triangle for attack. It feels like it's a, it's to make sure that there's actually like a coverage for both American and Japanese audiences because American or well, Western audience would be X for a Japanese audience. It's usually circle, but um, yeah, it tends to be actually. A, oh, wait, can I use a hammer to break this? No, I can't. Oh well. Ooh, what are we about to find? Whoa, that's fucked oh, up. What's this? Oh, that's not the good. This is the call a threshold. Mirages that create them to mark their territory. Wow. When you see a threshold, you better watch out because the mirages inside are extremely the powerful. I can imagine the so. The worst part, if you cross it and lose a fight the inside, I can't use my powers that makes to sense, the and extricate you. No extrication? Guess we'd better be extra careful then. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it sounds like if we're going in, we better go in fully prepared. That sounds like a plan. For sure. And don't forget to save your progress too. Yes. I'm so glad they actually put a save button right there. I think we're going to make a decision. Um, I may take a little break on the episode here to prepare. I might do a little bit of grinding and prepare and come back for the next episode just so you guys are ready to see me go in there and womp the ass off everything in the room. So, uh, yeah, beware of thresholds. Gotta be safe of those. So let's jump in here. Oh, uh, yeah, cost the shortcuts if we need them. I suppose that makes more sense for if you're in uh, the faster battling, which I, I might switch across to, but I don't really see the need to at the moment. Gives me time to think and prepare. So, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has actually been another episode of World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. I want to keep doing that. I don't know why it gets really entertains me doing all the different voices. So guys, yes, of course, if you want, enjoyed the show and this is actually like your first episode of the series, this is going to be an ongoing series to watch all the way through World of Final Fantasy and see what else we've got to be explored and seen. But of course, you can always subscribe at the top to see when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't seen any episodes before, the trailers and the objects here on this side will actually be able to make it so that you can jump straight into the playlist where you need to be. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all 
in the next episode. Bye. Oh, crap. Where did I put that? There it is. <laughs>